All right, everyone, welcome to the first ever season of the Minecraft Bedrock Championship, or MCBC. This tournament consists of multiple games on the Hive, including Sky Wars, Treasure Wars, Survival Games, and The Bridge. This video will be featuring only Lime Team, number 13, the creator, and number 01, Louis is good. Without further ado, let's get into some footage. So the first game is Sky Wars. Let's roll that now. And the Lime team is on their starter island getting resources. Starts in three, two, one. Now. Alright. They're getting resources. I've just received word that number 01 has instructed number 13 not to get any resources besides a couple blocks, which is a fatal flaw in their strategy as Louie only has iron armor and the creator only has pants and let's see does he get anything else and a hat uh Louie is grabbing some andesite from the chest and bridging out all right they've made it to an outer island it looks like they've encountered contact with the red team who are preparing to stage a fight the creator goes and grabs resources okay Louis attempts to bridge over. All right, all right. Let's see. W who will win? All right, all right. He's fighting Jay. He's fighting Jay. And he falls off. Let's get a replay of that. All right. So he goes around back. Why did he fall? He starts he starts to bridge, okay? Why did he fall though? Red team bridges across, red team bridges across, and Louis steps up to fight, and through, it looks like just a keyboard issue, he falls. Louis has been eliminated from the Sky Wars match. Alright, now it's on to Creator, who doesn't have very much armor due to Louis' instructions. And he gets knocked out very quickly. What moron. Let's get a replay. Alright. It looks like Red Team jumps across and combos him. Wow, he didn't even get a single hit so far. Wow. Dang, he sucks. The, both the Creator 13 and the Lime Team have been eliminated from Sky Wars. Well, it looks like that's... Wait. Wait, I've, I've just received word that after the Treasure Wars game, the owner of the competition, the ref... Uh, has real has given Lime Team a second chance in the survival games round. Let's see if they fare better here. All right, all right. Let's see if they feel, fare better here. The map that has been chosen is Flashpoint, which is an abandoned military area. All right. They get to the Cornucopia. All right, all right. Did they get anything useful? It looks like both of them got some armor. And they appear to be running toward the hydroelectric dam. Alright. Interesting strategy. Nobody seems to go to the hydroelectric dam. Ooh, they're not even going up the hill. They're going up the waterfalls, it seems. Alright, alright. Ooh, secret chest behind the waterfall. Nice. Louie is going up the waterfall to the dam. And the creator is checking for more chests behind the waterfall. And he tries to swim up that waterfall. But that waterfall doesn't have an entrance unbeknownst to him louis is meanwhile gathering resources at the top of the dam the creator realizes his mistake and goes up to the other waterfall and goes up all right louis has officially cleared the gates of any resources they might have and the creator goes and scouts for a loot cow over by that abandoned cabin when he sees there is none he goes up to the lily pads and over to the dam control room. Oh, it looks like he's heading to the truck for more resources, while Louie is heading to an abandoned crater to the left. There is both a level 1 and a level 2 chest up here. Let's see. Do they get anything worthwhile? All right, it looks like both of them have cleared the loot in their areas and are now heading towards the hydroelectric dam control. 
The creator signals Louie to come into the building with him, and they go in. It looks like they're looting the chests inside. Okay, okay, okay. Looting the chests inside. I don't think Louie's gotten the signal to come with. Oh, nope, nope, there he is. All right. And they go up the ladder. All right. They're clearing the helipad of all resources. Uh, it looks like both of them are fully decked out in at least some chain armor. If not, they have some iron accessories. Oh, the creator found a flare and a supply crate is being called. All right. Looks like they continue to loot the area as the supply crate falls down. All right. Ooh, smart. I didn't even think to go down to that other platform to get some loot. All right. It looks like both of them have swords. Oh, Louis has a diamond sword. Let's go. And the creator has an iron sword, which is a huge upgrade from a stone sword. And they wait for the supply crate to come down. All right. All right. Let's see what's in the supply crate. Both of them have access to it. Uh, it looks like they're digging through the content. And Louis gives the creator a gapple. Which, if you didn't know, applies many health benefits to the user. Uh, it looks like they might be leaving the dam and are jumping down the waterfall. Alright, it looks like they're heading towards the construction site area. Which, uh, which, ha which has the most loot to area ratio of any of the areas, including the military base. So, let's see. Are they going to get chased? No, it looks like nobody is chasing them. All right, all right. Oh, oh, on second thought. A, a diamond a diamond sword wielder comes over there. Okay, the creator jumps across using the thing. Oh, no, no, no. Diamond boot wearer comes up the, comes up the crane with him. They're fighting, it looks like, with bows and arrows. Come on, cameraman, get better shots. Okay, and... And he hits him with the axe. Oh, and he snipes him. Let's get a replay of that. So the creator jumps across using that trampoline thingy. Don't know what that's called. And he lands. All right. He sees the other person and goes into the crane with them in hot pursuit. All right. Looks like he's home free. Nope. The other person has entered the crane. They're now exchanging shots and trying to fire at each other. All right. Both of them appear to have taken damage, although the creator is suffering the most hits. Right, the creator tries to back up so that bro can't hit him. All right. Not a single hit was made. He hits him with an axe and snipes. The creator 13 has been eliminated. Now it's just up to diamond sword wearing, wielding... Louis is good. Where did he go? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it looks like Louis is fighting another person with a diamond sword over here. And he flees. He flees because they have better armor and better PvP skills. He flees down to the river basin past the construction site area. All right. What could he have planned? The creator is spectating and and wait and cheering Louis on, warning him of the following uh, diamond sword wielding player. It appears that they're not following too much though, uh, or Louis would be keep going. Oh, it looks like after he looted the crater, they saw something. All right, all right, and he's going up to the other side of the river all right all right let's see where is he headed so he's either headed to the bridge the military base or that cabin let's see looks like there are about five people left at this point and louis is hiding in the cabin awaiting somebody to follow him it looks like now we wait and watch to see what happens next and now a word from our sponsor, Fate Company 05. Fate Company 05 supplies lots of things, including shirts and music and, yeah, as, as well as MCBC merch. Woo! 
So go check them out at fakecompany05.com slash mcbc. All right, all right, all right. It appears Louis is considering emerging. All right, he emerged from the cabin and is heading toward the military base to deprive it of its resources. Cross the bridge, get some stuff from there. All right. As he crosses the gate, unsure of being followed, he makes his way into the military tent. All right. He notices that s that people have been here before. So, yeah. All right, all right. And it's worth noting at this point that neither of them have gotten any kills yet, which is kind of lame. But, yeah, it looks like Louis is wandering around. <laughs> All right, what is his plan? Escapes the watchtower, goes towards the barracks, it looks like. All right. Ooh, it looks like the death match is about to start in three, two, one. All right, fight. It looks like some of the more advanced players are trying to take each other out. Oh, no, one of them is headed towards Louie, and they fight, they fight. Doesn't get a single hit, doesn't get a single hit. No, and the grave. Let's get a replay. All right, he's chasing Louie. Louie notices, turns around, tries to fight. No, run away. Run away. All right, he keeps to hit him. He keeps to hit him. No, no, and da. Uh, Louie and Lime Team have both been eliminated. What's this? I've just received word that, that Thunder and Gabe, and, as well as Lime Team, have tied with, uh, with zero kills. And... I've, I've also received the word that the ref had no tiebreaker game. They just, quote, chose whoever they felt. And so, Lime Team and the ref's team are in the bridge. Lime Team being on the red side and the ref's team being on the blue side. All right. All right. It looks like they're both bum rushing. And, okay, they both make it. They both make it. All right, and they're going across the side, and both of them get to the hole. Punches Louie, and score! Let's get a replay. Louie pillars up while the creator comes around and, at and sneak attacks. And the creator scores! One point for the red team! All right. Second round. Go! All right, they're both bum-rushing this time, except one of the players knocks Louie... No Thinks they knocked Louie. Okay, both of them knocked each other off. All right, all right. The players are both attacking the creator and manage to kill him. Whereas Louie falls off. Oh, he, he survives. He survives. All right, all right. And then blue team goes over and pillars up and gets in the score. Let's replay. All right, they get up and they get in the red goal and score. One point for the blue team. It's one to one now. All right. Three, two, one, go! All right, all right. Both of them are... Oh, it looks like the creator is trying for a bridge while Louis is bum rushing. Whereas the creator falls off like an absolute moron. Blue team are pressing that way, but Louis single-handedly gets in the goal. Oh, oh, score! One point for red team. All right, let's do a replay. He just pillars up and falls in. No defense whatsoever by the blue team. Wow. Okay. Two points for the red team, one point for the blue team. All right, three. Oh, never mind. Go. All right. It looks like they're both pillaring and having trouble getting over. The creator and Louis have both fallen, and the blue team is at the red goal. Okay, 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 okay. Go. Oh, they scored. That sucks. All right. Yeah, the replay shows it. There's very little defense there. All right, three, two, one. Go! Oh, it looks like Louie has been launched from the area by his leap ability and gets punched off. Same with... No, the creator and the blue guy are still going, still going. Oh, blue team scores. Three to two. Blue team wins. All right, that is going to be it for our line team analysis here at MCBC. Check, check out Fake Company 05 for merch, and I'll see you in the next season. Adios.